Hey guys, today we are going to look at integer operations. We are going to answer the question, what are the rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers? So remember, integers are positive and negative whole numbers. So we're working with whole numbers today, but they might be positive or negative. So let's talk about adding first. If the numbers have the same signs, then we will add the absolute values and keep the same sign. So let's look at number one both of those numbers are negative. So I'm going to keep that same sign. So that means that my final answer will also be negative. And then I just look at the absolute values of the number. So I just think of it as positive two plus 21, which is 23. So the final answer is negative 23. And then if we have different signs, then we are going to subtract the absolute values and we will keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So let's look at number three. I have different signs here and I'm gonna keep the sign of the larger number. The larger number is 25. So that means that my final answer will have a positive answer. And then I'm going to subtract these and 25 minus two is 23. So the final answer here is positive 23. So same signs, we just add and keep the sign. Different signs, we will subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So on number two, I have seven plus 14. Those are the same signs. So I'll keep that sign, which is positive. And then seven plus 14 is 21. So the final answer here is 21. And then number four, these are different signs and the larger absolute value would be this negative 17 here. So that means my final answer is going to be negative. And then since they're different, I will subtract and 17 minus three is 14. So the final answer here is negative 14. So that is adding. Let's review subtracting integers. So to subtract two numbers, it's the same as adding the first number to the opposite of the second number. We can accomplish this by keeping the sign of the first number. We're going to change the subtraction to addition, and then we will change the sign of the second number, and then we can follow the addition rules that we learned up here. So all we're doing instead of subtracting is we're gonna change that to adding the opposite and then we'll just follow those addition rules. So let's look at number five. I have 32 minus 45. So I'm going to change this to adding the opposite. I keep, change, change. So now I am adding two different signs and the sign of the larger number is negative. So my final answer is gonna have a negative number and then since they're different, I will subtract. And 45, I'm gonna do this off to the side. 45 minus 32 would be 13. So the final answer here is negative 13. Okay, let's look at number six. I have negative 12 minus negative 31. So I'm going to keep change change or you can think of it as adding the opposite. So this ends up being negative 12 plus 31. So these are different signs. So I'm gonna keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So my final answer is gonna be positive. And then since they're different, that means that I will be subtracting 31 minus 12. 11 minus two is nine, two minus one is one. So I get positive 19 for my final answer. Okay, number seven, I have negative 43 minus 76. So I'm gonna keep change, change, or add the opposite. So these are the same signs. So my final answer is going to be negative since both of these are negative. And that means I need to add the absolute value. So I'm gonna add 43 plus 76, three plus nine, or three plus six is nine, and four plus seven is 11. So I get negative 119. And number eight. So I have three different numbers that I'm um, subtracting here. 
I'm going to change this and change that to adding the opposite. And I'm going to rewrite out what this is. Negative 7, and then this would be plus positive 14 or just plus 14. And then minus plus a negative 6 is what that minus 6 turns into. So let's start with negative 7 plus 14. That's going to end up being a positive 7. Because I keep the sign of that positive 14 since that absolute value is bigger. And then 14 minus 7 is 7. So now I have a 7 plus negative 6. So the 7 is the larger absolute value. So my final answer will be positive, And then I'm going to subtract these since they have different signs. And 7 minus 6 is 1. So our final answer is positive 1. Okay, let's look at multiplying and dividing integers. So multiplying or dividing two numbers that have the same signs will revolt, result in a positive answer. And then multiplying or dividing two numbers that have different signs will result in a negative answer. This Mickey Mouse right here can be helpful to remember this pattern. What you're going to do is cover up the two signs of your numbers and then the remaining sign in the Mickey Mouse is the sign of the answer. So say you have a negative times a positive, you would cover those up and you're left with a negative. So a negative times a positive is going to equal a negative. And then if you have a negative times a negative, we cover those up and we're left with a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So you can use that if it helps you or you can just remember same signs are positive, different signs are negative. Okay, let's look at number nine. I have different signs here and different signs result in a negative answer. So my final answer here is going to be negative and then seven times three is 21. Okay, on number 10, both of these are positive and same signs result in positive answers. So my final answer will be positive and now I just have to do 32 times 8. So 8 times 2 is 16. I'm going to carry the 1 and 3 times 8 or 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So the final answer here is positive 256. Okay, number 10, I am multiplying different signs, so I am going to have a negative answer. And then 8 times 10 is 80. I am multiplying a negative times a negative, so same numbers means I'm going to have a positive answer. And then 2 times 5 is 10. So the final answer here is 10. Okay, now I am dividing. On number 13, I'm dividing different signs. I'm doing a negative divided by a positive and negative. So that will give me a negative answer. And then 48 divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. No remainder. So negative 48 divided by 3 is negative 16. Sorry, negative 48 divided by positive 3 is negative 16. Okay, on number 14, I have a negative divided by a negative, so my resulting answer is going to be positive since those are the same signs. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the final answer here is 5. And then number 15, I have a positive divided by a negative, so I have different signs. So my final answer will be negative. And then 90 divided by 45 is 2. And then the last one, 63 divided by 7, these are the same signs, so my final answer will be positive, and 63 divided by 7 is 9. 